Congressman Marsha Blackburn has been a familiar face to many Tennesseans for years. She's been politically connected to the Republican Party since the 90s and is a staunch supporter of the Trump administration. However, she's hoping to leave an even larger footprint by replacing Bob Corker as the next United States Senator from Tennessee. She took the time to stop by News Channel 5 and talk with me about the upcoming election. Congressman Blackburn has been traveling through the state recently and says she promises Tennesseans to defend the majority. It is important to voters because they elected Donald Trump to shake up Washington, D.C. And as you know, I've never been one that went to D.C. to support a status quo. I have all my life, all my political life, I have fought against the status quo. And people want to see the Trump agenda. They want to keep the Trump tax cuts. They do not want a senator who's going to vote against them. They want a senator who is going to approve nominees to that federal bench and Supreme Court, not vote against them. They want somebody who is going to be there to defend that southern border, build that wall, not somebody who is governor, gave driver certificates to illegal aliens. Former Tennessee Governor and Democrat Phil Bredesen is seen as her main opponent for the seat being vacated by Corker. It's a, not a concern. This is his fourth statewide race. It is my first statewide race. And we know that we are very much in line with the values of Tennessee voters. And one of the things they tell me regularly is they appreciate how I've taken Tennessee values to Washington. And that's something that they want me to continue to do to make certain that I am doing my part to reduce the size of the federal government and I'm doing my part to drain the swamp. However, Blackburn says there is one area where she and the Trump administration might not be on the same page. I am not a fan of tariffs and I feel like that tariffs are a burden and they put up barriers. I am somebody who says let's go for freedom, free markets and free people. And that always works. We have worked tirelessly with our farmers, manufacturers, producers in the state to represent them, to express their concerns, to try to find relief from these tariffs. Tariffs are a bad deal for Tennesseans. Blackburn says if she's elected, the focus will always stay on Tennessee and that she plans to fly home from Washington, D.C. every weekend.